How's it going, guys? This is Holly with Grindworks, and today we are talking about the best budget OTF knives on Grindworks. Now, I've talked about OTF knives before, but it's actually been a little while since I've reviewed what I think are the best budget options on the site, and we've had some newcomers since then, so I thought it was about time we updated and showed you some of the best options we have on the site right now for OTF knives. So first up, we have the Atomic Defender. This is the mini version of the Atomic Defender OTF. It runs right around $42 on the site currently. It's seven inches overall with a 2.625 inch blade. You can see it's a Tonto style with a flat grind and a two-tone finish. Uh, this one is partially serrated, although one of the things we love about the Atomic Knives is that they come in all kinds of different blade styles and shapes and serrated, non-serrated, all the things. So make sure you check out the Atomic Knives category on the site. There's tons to choose from there. Now we do have an alloy handle here with a very typical style for the Atomic Knives with this texturing and um, interesting patterns on it. I do think this is a cast style. It's 4.47 ounces, so heftier for its size, but um, not dreadfully heavy. We have a tip down deep carry style pocket clip. And of course we have a glass breaker on the pommel, which has maybe a lanyard hole going through it. Maybe not, I could be wrong. I like that this knife brings, you know, all the tactical features that so many of us like in an OTF knife, but it's more ma a more manageable size and weight. Um, a lot of the atomic knives are absolutely massive. Um, well over twice this size if you're going by weight. And to me, that's just a bit too much knife. So I think this is the perfect size. It's still strong, it's still hefty, and it's still solid without using up any unnecessary real estate. And it's definitely fidget friendly. So there's the Atomic Mini Defender. Next up, no surprises, Lightning had to make the list, right? So this is the classic Lightning, Lightning OTF knife, right around $30, eight inches overall with a three and a quarter inch blade. This is your drop down style with a flat grind and a satin finish, cast aluminum handle, and it's 3.9 ounces. And then we've got the tip down carry pocket clip. I've always wished that they would put a deep carry on there, maybe something a little wider. But then, I mean, would it be the lightning? This style has become so iconic and so, so recognizable. Maybe it's best not to mess with it. I personally think that the most accurate way to think of a lightning is probably like the Kalashnikov. It's cheap, but it's well built and better action than you would ever believe for its price. There is a little bit of wiggle in the in the blade, about what you would expect for an OTF. It's not made of the best materials you can buy, but I mean, it does its job and it's very, very rare for it to fail. So lightnings have become the most popular OTF knife. And honestly, it's, it's pretty much the most popular knife on Grindworks. We sell more of these babies than almost anything else on the site. Next up, we have the M&P Spring Assisted OTF Knife. Yes, this is a single action, but very, very solid contender in the OTF category. Overall, it is 8.875 inches long. We've got a three and a half inch blade. We've got an Oz 8 steel blade. Looks like a dagger style with a hollow grind and a nice black finish. Um, it does have an aluminum handle. Uh, one thing I've always liked about this one is that the finish on it is very comfortable. Um, I like that it's smooth with some, you know, nice ridges and jipping and stuff built into it. There's something about it. It could be in my imagination, but it almost feels rubberized. So I really like the grip on this one. 5.87 ounces. And then we have our tip down deep carry pocket clip there and a small glass breaker. Again, yes, single action. That means that you gotta use two hands to close it. So definitely not as convenient as a double action OTF, but the action is very solid. And there's one benefit to a single action knife that I think a lot of people overlook, and that's that there's almost zero blade play at all. 
Yeah, I'm wiggling it and I can't feel anything. So it's solid, it's comfortable, it's got an attractive design, and it's honestly one of the most popular OTF knives that we sell, despite the fact that it's single action. Next up we have the F-16. Now this is actually a newer model that you haven't seen yet, I don't believe. Um, everything else is the same. 8 inches, 3.375 inch blade, 448 steel. This is the bayonet style, but it's this two-tone finish that you guys haven't seen before, where the ground part of the blade is finished black. I personally love the look. I think it's fantastic. We have the aluminum handle with the grip tape inlay. It's 3.18 ounces, so nice and lightweight. And then it does have a tip-down carry pocket clip. The F-16 is so popular because it honestly has the best action for its price. It's even better than the Lightning. And it's got a much more interesting design, I think. It's just cooler to look at. Nice and slender handle. Kind of digging this fire truck red they've got going on too. And it, I mean, just go look at the reviews. It consistently gets four or five star reviews across the board. So if you're looking for something that's in that budget range, but the Lightning is just a little bit on the cheap side for you, then I would definitely recommend the F-16. Lastly, this is one of the, the newer knives we have in the category. Although I believe it actually came on the scene last year. This is the AKC Extreme Evo OTF knife. Runs right around $100 on the site, just below, so it just barely makes the mark. It's eight and a half inches long with a three and a half inch blade. This is Oz8 steel in a spear point style. We've got a nice black finish. An aluminum handle that's been milled very precisely. And it's 3.87 ounces. This is probably my current favorite as far as budget OTF knives go. As much as I love the others, this newest OTF design from AKC has, I think, the best design. As far as the ergonomics, the construction, and the action is amazing on this. I love this sort of shallow stepped thumb slide. Um, it makes it very comfortable. The fit and finish on this thing is flawless. And they listened. Uh, the first time that I reviewed this knife in some other video, um, I don't think it had a pocket clip. And that was kind of a major sticking point for a lot of people, especially given the the price range that it's in, people are like, no pocket clip? Eh, no thanks. So with the next iteration, they added a pocket clip. Don't quote me, you'll have to check, but I believe that all of the Evo OTF knives we have on the site right now do include the pocket clip. So there you go, those are the top five best OTF knives under $100. In my opinion, I would love to hear from you guys, which is your favorite budget OTF knife to carry right now, and which of these do you think will be next on your wish list? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when a new video drops. There will be links in the description below to each of these knives, and you can always jump on Grindworks and take a look at all the awesome OTF knives we have there. There are tons, tons, tons more than what I have presented for you today. Even better, if you join our email list, then every time a new knife hits the site, it'll come straight to your inbox. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.